Hello to anybody watching this. Um, if you have or haven't seen, uh, I have another Zuka bag that uh, that I kind of did an overview of. Uh, it's a black and white one, white frame and black bag. Um, so I do a more comprehensive overview of that one, but I'm gonna just kind of go over this one here. Uh, I got another used one uh, because I needed a few and uh, this is gonna just show you kind of in maybe the used market or even just some of the differences between uh, some of them uh, and a couple things that I'm gonna point out that I noticed that this person uh, did. So uh, at a glance you can see um, you know the bag itself is different uh, but everything about it uh, still attaches the same in terms of these closures with the zip going up the frame here these two velcro closures on this part of the frame above this drag strip uh, so I guess one of the main differences to point out obviously apart from the color uh, is the design of the bag. So this one has the magnetic attachment and you know it, it it works. You can see right there it's not clicking in but if you get it right it will. Like there. Anyway I'm not going to struggle with doing that multiple times. If, if you line it up by hand it's easier. I was just trying to have it naturally be pulled in but you know good strong magnet uh, when you open it up you're gonna see much of the same the same pocket here velcro here velcro here little pin holders or whatever I said carabiner before but you know whatever you have that that you may want to put there the PO number of it uh, also this one you know, same uh, same composition, 100% polyester, same location of manufacture. Double zips, has the lock hole. So that's pretty much the same. The design's going to be different. Even the the material. This has. It's not a ripstop, but it has a look kind of like that. It's got that you know multi-dimensional sort of nylon instead of the the uniform canvassy denim-y looking nylon pattern you know what I'm talking about like like here on the top you know this is gonna be just your uniform this is gonna it's still I mean I guess not nylon right polyester but it's still you know uh, has a look um, you know a little more textured look a little more you know, eye appealing I think it's nice uh, these zips are the same similar to a back pocket these go deep all the way down. These things also have little snags on them. Uh, but again, and I've confirmed with another one as well that yes, if, if you have one, if you see one used and, and the things hanging down here like this, most likely the elastic's wearing out. So this kind of confirms the elastic will stay up at the top. Frame construction, everything's the same. Now let me show you something that they did on this one that's interesting. I'm gonna guess that this person was either an adult or maybe a boy that uh, didn't like the flashy or maybe a girl who wasn't wanting attention called to herself uh, because the spinning colored lights are up there, the other ones are down here, okay? Same over here. Uh, now this bag's actually seen quite a bit more wear. This wheel's a little loose. Like I said, you can tighten all of this. Um, these are all good and solid. This one here actually probably can't, yeah, I guess you can tell a little bit right there. It's got a bend. So someone's either sat hard on it with this direction of force, something like that. It still rolls fine. Uh, I probably am going to just swap these spinning uh, light up wheels for the bottom because they're in better shape and I don't know for kids you know it's fun Same thing here this works as expected 
Uh, I do notice, you know, kind of like a lot of carry-on luggage, you know, over time, you may have to kind of fight, jiggle with it a little bit to get it to go down. You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, maybe something that has a completely different design that doesn't have this tiered, you know, because you can... I think you can. I thought you could anyways. Maybe... Maybe not. I thought you could set this at two different levels. Let me see if I can get it to do that. Try it this direction. One for sort of a kid's. Now, I mean, it'll stop right there, but if you pull it, it keeps going. So, yeah. It looks like it's going to be all the way up. If you know any different, I mean, feel free to comment otherwise. By the way, I, I will point out, too, they have like a a pro model i think i mentioned on the last one that uh the junior one and then ones with the recessed or kind of the uh you know don't have this extra wheel for the stairs i i did notice that the pro version has the recessed wheels the junior version has the wheels on the outside um at first glance i mean you know looking at the photos and stuff the junior version seems Pretty reasonable, and like I said, it, it holds 200 pounds up, up top. Uh, these, from my understanding, hold 300. Let's see what else to cover on this one. Um, oh, I will say, so you can get a good deal on these. Most of what I'm seeing these priced online for are between the 40 and the 60 dollar range plus shipping, which kind of comes out to around $100. I have seen a place that does the frames alone for, you know, in the 40s. Um, and the uh, skate shop where I get my stuff teched and all that, they have a used one that uh, is for sale, a complete setup for 60 used. So I would say if you if you want something starting out, you can get one for a very affordable price. Um, I got mine for a really good deal. Both the other one that I had the other video of, the white and black, plus this one. This is a, um, it's nice as well. Funny thing is, funny thing is, uh, if you if you saw in the other video, I found some stuff that I threw away. I didn't throw it away. I just kind of set it aside to throw away. But upon looking at it, it was some rocks. And then when I was cleaning this one out, I noticed it also had a little rock in it. So it's kind of funny because, you know, kids will walk around and they'll find a, a rock and want to keep it. So that's, that's my guess is that a, a child at some point decided they wanted to save a rock they found and, and they wound up in here. Uh, same, you know, really this is, this is pretty much the exact same thing as the other one. This one's seen a little more wear right here especially, so I'm not sure how that gets dragged or used to where it wears in this pattern. These are kind of rounded more right here on this outside. Um, you know, maybe just, whatever, maybe it just does. Uh, these wheels have definitely seen more wear. Like I said, this one's loose. I'm gonna pop it off. This one is bent. I'm not sure. It looks like it's flat against the frame, so it kind of looks like maybe this screw right here is bent. Maybe the, the shaft of that is. Uh, it still it still rolls not as well. You can see that one still. Let me see. No, that one spins for a minute. Not a minute, but you know what I mean. This one here, yeah, yeah, it wants to stop pretty quickly. So that one actually spins the best out of all of them. I'm sure that periodic maintenance you can you know grease these. I'd use something, if you're going to do that, I'd use something that they recommend because it is ball bearings. And if you just throw WD-40 on it, you might dilute the actual grease that needs to be there. Oh, I know what I was gonna, what I was gonna mention. So the other one had a piece of the top Velcro that, that came off. There's two strips on each of the bags and then there's two strips that are up on top of the frame here. 
This one also, this one had the back Velcro uh, come completely off. And actually I've got, this one's from the old bag. You know, you know what a piece of Velcro looks like. And then this one's from the other, uh, from this bag here. So, you know, was right up under there, but the adhesive as they've, as they've got it, just over time, baking in the sun, in a car, you know, the, these kinds of adhesives do break down. So that's gonna be the reason for that. I'm debating on whether, cause I, I still need to put it on the other one. I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna do the adhesive for using that same strip or if I'm just going to get some of the you know the industrial type of velcro in the stores or at you know craft stores or hardware stores Walmart anywhere like that that you can get it and it's you just peel the back off and stick it up on there that adhesive is very tacky very sticky so I expect it would last a good long time these here that I just showed you are original so that's why I would be inclined to use adhesive is to just keep it original and not start putting other stuff. Yeah, it's not a, any big deal either way, but um, yeah, so that's it with this. Same basic, same basic thing, little different design. Uh, you know, the, the owner used it a little differently, a little different wear than the others. Um, there was some stuff in here, you know, just some leftover, like pencil, lead, erasers, uh, something that kind of made me think this was used more as a school bag as opposed to ice skating. Um, but it will be used for ice skating from here forward with the little spinner light wheels. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for checking this one out. And if I have anything else to post about these, I will do so. Any questions, just ask.